another week, another adventure. Let's go, baby. You already know where we are. We're in the UK. Uh, I just got into London like literally like 10 minutes ago. And um, if you know me well, you know the first place I'm going. So without further ado, let's go to the one, the only. <gasps> Chipotle, baby. You already know. What is up everyone? I just finished my Chipotle. Um, US Chipotle is definitely better. Uh, sorry if you can't hear me, they have like stuff going on right now. I'm in Piccadilly Circus Square, which is like almost the equivalent of a Times Square, but definitely not to the same level. Whenever I was planning my trip, I made sure to come here because in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 that came out in 2019, there's a specific level that you do in Piccadilly Circus Square and there's this like awesome soundtrack. And if you know me, uh, or at least if you don't know me, now you know that I love Chipotle and soundtracks. Those are like my two most favorite things in the whole world besides Jesus, of course. But um, yeah, it has this amazing soundtrack and literally you come right over, right down this street and then you go to the square and you uh, basically have to kill all the tourists. And uh, it's like this whole like extraction unit thing. It's really cool the level is. But yeah, so I'm gonna guys show you guys around and you're gonna listen to some epic music called Piccadilly Circus by Sarah. I can't pronounce her last name. But yeah, so here we go. So like five minutes from Piccadilly Circus is Leicester Square. So that's where I am right now. They have a cool Eminem World thing that I'm gonna tour. Um, it's like a massive store. The same with a Lego store, but I don't have enough time to do both because right now I'm headed over to the British Museum. And we're gonna tour that real quick. Um, yeah, today's gonna be mainly museums as far as what I do in town. And it's gonna be more of a chill day. Uh, so yeah, let's just head over to the British Museum and enjoy uh, what it has to offer. So let's go.
I've been in the British Museum for two hours. I've barely scratched the surface. I did not realize how big it was. It's almost 1 million square feet. It has to be at least the second or third biggest um, museum in the world, next to the Louvre, of course. Um, but yeah, there's over 8 million artifacts in the whole museum. There's about like, I think 100 or something rooms. I don't even know, but I barely scratched the surface. So I'm definitely gonna go back tomorrow and uh, try to see some more of it. But yeah, it was just amazing. It was so much information. It was information overload, but yeah. So now I'm gonna go to another museum called the Natural History Museum, which hopefully is gonna be more of like a hands-on one instead of just looking at a bunch of pots and bases, which is cool, I guess, but I'm more of a, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's definitely not something I would wanna spend my time in for a long time. But if you do go, make sure that you plan for at least three or four hours, because I only plan for two. And yeah, there's so much stuff that I didn't even see. Uh, so yeah, let's just go head over to the Natural History Museum, and then um, we'll pretty much wrap up the day after that. So let's go see what it's all about. Just made it to this museum and um, it's almost as big as the British Museum. I'm like, I'm in over my head on all this museum stuff, but look at this. That's pretty cool. So yeah, let's tackle this place. This building is absolutely beautiful. Look at all this. And I'm gonna take you guys around, so let's go. So, oh wow. So I just got done with the Natural History Museum. It was really fun. I enjoyed both museums, but this one was definitely more like family friendly and um, a lot more than just a bunch of artifacts, which is really cool to see. But yeah, uh, the inside was absolutely amazing. It looked like something like the Smithsonian. I've never been, but just from the movie, not at the museum. Uh, but yeah, next, um, I need to go get some dinner and then check into the hotel. And then we're gonna wrap up this day and head to the next one. What's up everyone? Okay, so for dinner, I went to a Greek restaurant, got this cool um, chicken wrap. It like had fries in it, some salad stuff like onions, tomato, lettuce, uh, tzatziki sauce. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then chicken in it. Uh, as you can tell, I'm like really tired right now, but yeah, um, so I got back to the hotel, gonna do a quick room tour, you already know what's up, so this is the room, you got the bed right there, window right there, TV, which I'm never gonna use, got my stuff right there that I just threw around, um, then, um, got this little sweet thing, pretty cool. And there's the door, and um, there's a restroom. Ooh, fancy shower. Oh. And so yeah, that's the room. I uh, got an early morning plan tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the hay. And now, uh, catch you guys in the morning. And yeah, we're gonna conquer London together. So let's go. Um, I'm doing it 
day by day. So outro here, back to intro tomorrow. And it'll just be like a brief intro, so not much. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episodes. It's gonna be really fun. Um, yeah, I'm in London for four days. So this is day one, done. And uh, the next days are gonna be fun. So let's go. And I uh, hope everyone has having a great day right now. And um, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So let's go.